My name is uh, Michael Fitterman. I'm uh, the lead for the new SLM project. Uh, just a little bit, a quick introduction about myself. I have been um, working in the field of service level management for about 12 years, maybe a little bit more, uh, with Digital Fuel, with VMware, with Aptio, and recently I joined um, Amazon to lead the effort for creating um, our own platform for efficient SLM. So we should start with the presentation. So I will basically go through the presentation and in the end, I will try to leave some time for questions if they, if any uh, arise. <clears throat> so basically we're talking about service level management, service level management 2.0. It's gonna be our new automated platform and I'll share some details. Uh, we're planning to build a flexible, reliable, and automated tool for service level management. We have a lot of outdated tools in the market and with our own customers. We have some customized solution um, and we are trying to build a tool which is a good fit for both the technical person and the business user. So overall talking about service level management <clears throat> is uh, a little bit um, of a question here. Uh, this is not just service level reporting. It's much more than that. It basically includes um, topics such as all the ones that you see below the tip of the iceberg. So when we're talking about risk management, contract management, uh, relationship management, all of those issues, I'll just quickly browse through them. We won't go into each one in detail, but it's much more than just a, you know, an Excel or BI tool, which we can you know, create functions in and formulas and get a reporting. We are managing a lot of different aspects of the business when we do service level reporting. And the reason we're doing that is basically demands from multiple sides. So when <coughs> we're talking about um, enterprise IT, which is usually our core consumer of our of SLM, of service level management, enterprise IT has to report, basically has to provide services to the line of business. And the business demands specific obligations. So for example, they could demand metrics such as you know, transaction volume, metrics regarding um, the user experience, the performance, the time it takes to resolve a specific incident. And that is required, that's requested by the lines of business from enterprise IT. We will talk about why it sometimes could build a difficult, why IT struggles with that, with manual KPIs, with no access to automated data. The second part of it though, is that IT needs to manage the providers of that service. It's not always in-house. So there are a lot of service providers that are used in an IT environment and there are obligations there as well. So there are APIs that we use as detail here, there's ITSM, there's end user experience and application performance management metrics, which um, basically are needed to measure the performance of those providers. So <coughs> the business depends on IT, IT depends on providers, and there is a big need in the industry to actually manage and properly measure all those KPIs. And some typical challenges which are coming from our customers or from the market overall are um, detailed here, but if we just look at them separately. So for example, if we look at the uh, red item, so manual SLM requirements are growing over time, which means that there are a lot of calculations that are done in an Excel formula or done in a system or BI system that is not, that was not purposed for the, um, for such an amount of KPIs and for the growing need of additional KPIs, both by the business and by IT. So a lot of manual SLM is being done and it takes a very long time if it's not automated. There are monthly processes which require data collections from various systems. Sometimes there's no integration to those systems. Sometimes the data that is required to um, calculate those KPIs is located in an Excel file somewhere in someone's desktop. So this could take a long time. The One of the big other challenges is that there are penalties which are being paid if the KPI is not met, if the KPI is breached. So for example, if me as a service provider have to adhere and comply with specific KPI specific results, 
to my customers, to my business, then potentially, if I don't meet those requirements, I can make, I can basically have um, the responsibility to pay penalties. And if we had an automated tool that would tell me in advance, hey, um, there's a warning, if you don't improve something in this specific field, then you will breach the KPI, you'll have penalties. That would have helped me save some money. Manual data collection, lack of automated integration are another uh, two pieces of the same puzzle. Collecting data from various sources, from Excel, from databases, from APIs of existing systems, um, could be very cumbersome for a manual process, which usually has to be done monthly. And uh, one of the other challenges is basically being locked into metrics that are provided by existing tools. So we could have monitoring tools, we could have tools in the business that um, <clears throat> um, basically create notifications and alerts. And uh, they usually report, they usually have some KPIs built in, but they might not be the same KPIs or measurements that are required by the business. And there isn't really an easy option to create an API, a KPI calculation with those tools. They just provide whatever they can give, whatever is built in, and that's it. So we're basically locked into those existing ones and we can't create new measurements, which might be required by our customers, or we can customize the existing measurements. And there is a, a demand that's growing for measuring more KPIs, more metrics. So these are some of the typical challenges that we encounter, and obviously there are many more. And this is what we're coming to solve. And the solution overview, the architecture, the business architecture of this tool looks like this, and I will explain a little bit because this is a, a little bit of a complicated slide. But the heart of the system is the calculation engine and the visual calculation designer. And let's just keep in mind that every KPI, every measurement requires a some sort of a calculation. If we're talking about measuring the uptime of specific servers <clears throat> for a month, we would need to uh, create a specific calculation that relies on specific data and then report on the results of that calculation. So the red um, system in the middle allows us to do this, allows us to run the calculation, but also allows us to create that calculation in an easy way, which is the visual calculation designer, which we're planning to build. And that visual calculation designer will basically allow in simple steps with simple Lego-like components to create some business logic for a person who is not necessarily very technical. Above that, there is the workflow engine, which will be responsible for running the calculations, running the data fetches, and basically preparing, running the entire process, orchestrating it. As you can see below the calculation engine, we have the data integrations, which are the crucial part of automation of the entire SLM solution, which is a key part of our product. So there are multiple data sources which are required to properly calculate the KPIs. So business apps, user experience, application performance, those metrics will are, exist in some tools which measure them, but it's not a manual process to extract it from all of those sources and to consolidate them. Um, as you can see, databases, different cloud services, and sometimes there's a lot of manual data like log files, Excel files, um, different structures, which might be a little bit outdated. So the data integration piece is a, is a very critical piece of the entire solution, which <coughs> we need to handle. And our integration support will be gradually coming in supporting more and more, more tools with automated integration. So you don't really need to um, define a specific database connection. You can just say, hey, I'm using this tool. Let me connect it and grab data from it for my calculations. From the sides of the calculation engine, we have the contract management and the insights part. So contract management will allow us to create an electronic version of all our actual contracts. Um, any contracts that we have existing in our in paper or in, or in some documents will exist in an electronic form with the exact definitions of the metrics and the KPIs and will allow bulk editing and bulk creation. Basically, just throw your contract in there um, and um, define, using specific templates, define the KPIs that we want to measure. 
those KPIs will then be calculated based, the actual results for those KPIs will be calculated based on the calculation engine and the data source and will be compared to the contractual targets and requirements that are in the contract. <clears throat> the insights on the right side of the slide, the insights would provide actionable data for the customer and for the provider as well. So we will be able to see real-time dashboards, alerts that will tell us in advance if something is about to be breached, reports for customers and reports for bonus penalties, which potentially could we could incur. Obviously, this is all going to be orchestrated and um, with, a, with an automated um, fashion. And we will be able not just to show those insights online, we'll be able to send them out with branded um, customer templates, booklets, so to say, with existed logos and branding of our customers. Each one could have their own. And um, <clears throat> obviously, we can manage our customers and providers inside the tool as well. There will be a, a portal that will allow us to control settings, personal selections, permissions. Not everyone can access the same data. And the important thing is that it's an open platform, meaning that we're not limiting ourselves to any specific technology or data source or a vendor. We will be able to pull data from any vendor and we'll be able to export this data as well. So this will be um, sort of a vendor agnostic solution. <clears throat> the couple of important points about the AMC SLM, which is <clears throat> our product, is that it's first of all, it's coming from Amazon. Amazon has a great long experience with SLM automation, not just with SLM, but automating the SLM portion. And that is a great plus, it's a great experience, and we have the know-how how to do this. The open platform, as I discussed, will allow us to process um, any piece of data and gradual uh, integrations with existing tools. The <clears throat> market leaders will be, will be coming in as well. And due to specific requirements by, the, by our customers, there are multiple customers. Some of them have very uh, strict data security guidelines and will not be able to use a, a cloud provided service. We will have both the managed service and the on-prem version. So the approach we're taking in creating this tool is a modular one, which means that we're sort of building a Lego and we'll, we're going to use the principle of um, choose, use, connect. So choose means you choose the modules that you need. You may need, not need data egress, right? You may need, not want to export any data outside except the regular booklets or reporting tools. You may say, um, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna use. Um, I don't need um, uh, a, a portal for my services. You probably will, but you may select the modules that you need. And then you have a choice. You can for the modules that you do need to use. For example, data ingress. How do we bring data into the tool? Or reporting. How do we report on the tool? So you can use the built-in modules that we provide with the tool or you can connect your own tools. So a good, um, a good example of that is Tableau. So we will provide a reporting tool that will show us that we'll, you'll be able to use to um, log into the portal, see specific reports, visual charts, and we, you'll be able to distribute them um, automatically by emails to your customers. But if, for example, you have a reporting tool that installed that you use and you already paid for, for example, Tableau, then there will be a very, um, strictly defined API that will allow you to connect our system to Tableau, and you can use Tableau as a reporting tool. You don't have to use ours. So this modular approach will help us to um, align with the other tools that exist and not make you, not force you into a specific um, vendor, which is also sort of the uh, one of the principles of the open platform. The rough um, outline of the roadmap of this uh, tool is as follows. So the first two are early access. So in the end of this year, it's going to be a limited release. We're going to have 
on the initial modules that are required for our MVP or our early access version, whatever you want to call it, we're going to have <clears throat> some of the modules um, released and some of the functionality of those modules. This is going to be by the end of this year. By the beginning of next year, some of our customers, the initial batch, will be migrated completely to the new tool. So we can actually um, validate that everything is working properly, run some in parallel, and potentially run some demos. Then in Q2 of next year, we're going to have a GA release, which is going to allow for core functionality. It will allow for basic functionality from the basic modules that are needed for all customers. And this is already going to be GA. And towards the end of next year, we're going to be adding some additional interesting modules. Besides the continuous improvement and additional functionality for existing modules, we're thinking about AI insights and analytics. That's the plan. So our insights and analytics will be, we'll, we'll use machine learning and basically uh, will provide automatic notifications that are basically created to assist you to uh, stop paying penalties and report as much as, as best as you can and to provide for providers the best service they can. And benchmarking to compare benchmarking in multiple layers of understanding, basically to compare the tool to, uh, to compare the list of services, for example, to other customers who are in the same industry, which services are they using? Can we use the same services? What are, what are they measuring? Should we use the same KPIs and potential also provider benchmarking, comparing the ratings of providers based on their scores? So this is all coming towards the end of next year. And of course, we are always happy to hear uh, feature suggestions or uh, feature requests from, uh, from customers on all the functionality that we're going to build. The, uh, one of the main steps of this, um, this uh, endeavor is to actually migrate customers to um, the new product. And this is mostly for customers, for existing customers. Uh, this is going to be a task that is customized and specific for every customer. It's going to be as automated as possible. Some uh, customer solution which exists will not allow us full automation, but will allow a good um, a good portion of automation depends on how it's implemented. For example, if we're migrating the customer who was using uh, digital fuel before, we could automatically extract a lot of data, a list of customers, a list of providers, the KPIs from that system and plug them into the new system. Some of the items will need to move manually. So the process will be gathering requirements from any new customer, an existing customer that uh, is not migrated yet. We're going to prioritize the modules that are needed to be updated first, and then we're going to implement them with uh, running the existing mod, the new module, and the existing customer solution in parallel. And the when the integration is done, we're going to go back to requirements gathering. Eventually, as the migration goes, we will basically get rid of all the existing modules, get rid of all the existing customized solution and the system will simply be running in the new product. And then we can deprecate the existing solution. And these steps are going to be very specific and customized per customer. And this is one of the big um, parts of the new tool as well. Um, then for this, after I covered the architecture and how the process is gonna go, there are very interesting things we hear from customers and we want to hear more from Amazon's customers. So specifically, what is SLM with you, with your organization? What does it mean to you? If, if you're not, if you don't have any SLM processes, why is there a requirement? If you do have SLM processes, are they manual? How are you handling them right now? Are the, your customers require you or ask you for something that you don't have yet? Maybe your process is very long. We want to hear what is it to you. We also want to hear about your you know, biggest pains and comforts, whatever is convenient in your structure, what doesn't work, what works very well, and maybe we can use that in our tool and incorporate that. 
We also want to share the tool continuously, the development of the tool continuously with everyone who's interested. We will be doing regular demos and webinars to show um, this tool to exist in new customers and hear their reactions and, and hear them say, yes, this is what I want, I'm going to use this. Or, hey, this is too difficult for me and we may pivot our development um, depending on the feature request and the feedback that we get. So we would love to talk about everything that you see and everything that you hear. And um, we also are very interested in technology requirements because each ecosystem, each SLM or IT ecosystem has their own tools, has their own requirements, has um, specific um, standards and reasons uh, to comply. Maybe it's data uh, to comply to specific technology, maybe, maybe it's data security, maybe it's a, uh, a very long uh, agreement with a specific vendor, maybe it's other specific requirements which would be crucial for us to understand to make sure that our tool eventually will match whatever technology that you have. And we are always happy to hear new ideas, new feature requests, um, anything that you think will be helpful to you in our tool, we would very much uh, love to hear about it.